Well, that was fun. I don't recall getting the achievement. But that doesn't mean I didn't. Um, just check. Right, I'm gonna put the spooky wood in the wood chest. It doesn't look like it's... Uh... Did we not get to wave 15? Got past wave 15. Yeah, I, I, I stopped keeping track, to be honest. There's uh... a lot going on. Well, that's interesting. We got up to about 16. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna... I don't know where to find it under achievements. At least not in game. I'm gonna look it up on Steam. It's not notified me that you've got it, so and I didn't oh. hear it pop. It says that I've got it. Reach the fifteenth wave of pumpkin moon where evil lurks. Yeah, I got it. Oh. Only that's... nineteen point one percent of players have this achievement. Some of the achievements I can understand why. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Um, Got to head off now. Have fun. It was lovely to have you, Ellie. Thanks for just stopping in. Have a great okay, see you, mate. I got two more spooky wood. Where did this come from? Um, if you went up top, there that might would be, be some where? more. Oh, of course, yeah, there's, there's, there's the, the, plenty the, on the top floor. The, uh, the deadwood trees dropped it. That makes sense. Mm. Oh, uh, don't use that wood to, to line your skirting board. I wouldn't, no. No, that bit freaks me out when I'm... When I was a kid, I'd say. It did. It freaked me out when I was a grown-up, too. It's cool, though. So the last episode they released was Strange wasn't that good. Mostly because that was the only mm. one that they did where it wasn't actually a demon. It was just a crazy person who liked to eat human flesh. It's been a, a long time since I watched any of it. I have a very but... weird memory for these things, but not as weird as my mum, who remembered that the name of the, the the name of the dog of the old lady in the Deadwood episode was called Nimrod. Um, I was going to say something. I've completely forgotten what I was going to say now. <laughs> It'll come back. Uh... And I have another spooky twig. Right. I think I remember, but let me just double check. <gasps> Sore. Yeah, um, this. the guy who played Strange. Uh, Nick Let's Richard Coyle. Yeah, mm -hmm. he was... In the Terry Pratchett he... thing, going postal. That wasn't what I was going to say, but yes, oh, he was. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, but he was also, in, uh, tying back to conversation earlier on, he was in that um, sitcom that uh, Stephen Moffat wrote. Really? Yep. Yeah. Uh, he, mean... he was the weird Welsh friend. Yeah, I can see him no. fulfilling that role fairly well. I enjoyed going postal. It was interesting to see David Suchet as a villain. It was it was a decent version of it. I would um, say the way they did the vampire was a bit weird. It looked like he just got out of the shower. Mm. He's very wet. I need to see it again. I haven't seen that in a very long time. Excuse me. It's weird having a tidy, excuse me, inventory. <laughs> I just hear Toby grumbling from behind my curtains. 
And I can just see the tip of his tail. <laughs> Let's see, quite clever the guy. He's figured out how to get up on my windowsills even when the curtains are drawn. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. Uh, what ammunition are you using at the moment for your gun? Is it just uh, bullets? Um, well, it's a, I don't have a gun equipped. So. But musket balls would actually be the one I'm using. It's musket balls, yeah. Um, so what I wanted to, I wanted to check because, um, mm. you can have, you can then have the infinite ammo that I've got as well. Mm. Um, so the way you get that is by having, um, mm. 4,000 musket balls. Well, I've got 7,346, um, so I think we're good there. And if we go to the wizard. Jeez, Toby. 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 <laughs> what is so wrong with your life, you glorious little freeloader? He is a weird little dude. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Something about bullets. Yeah. So if you go to that crystal ball, I just posted. I've just put to this the left one. of you. And under crafting, you mm. should have the option endless to create the endless pouch. musket pouch. And where do I put that? If you put that in one of your ammo slots. Ah. Um, I would put it in your top left. If yeah. You've got any yeah. other um, things? You now have infinite ammo. Nice. Thank you. And that, is that only for guns, like specifically that use muskets? Uh, so it, yeah, it's for guns uh, that use uh, bullets or mm -hmm. musket balls. I'm gonna um, drop my jester arrows temporarily just to see what this does on regular arrows. The exact same thing, but I imagine it just does different damage. So I've got jester's arrows and just wooden arrows. Hmm. It'll be. Uh, it'll just change the uh, base damage. Um, mostly. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna um, put the musket balls maybe in next. the ranged folder. Folder? Chest. I'm real tired. <laughs> and my computer's mad at me because I decided to sort throughout all of my 2022 photographs the other day. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Haven't seen a defragmentation look so red in a very long time. <laughs> that is, um problem isn't it when you haven't done it for a little while well i usually do it every week but i definitely don't hold myself to that mm. right i keep opening up my inventory as if i'm expecting something else to be there it's almost night time again anything else we can do um... i'm a bit sad i missed the uh achievement going off yeah. Um. What? I have another question, but I'll wait. Uh, fire away. What is the event slash boss that drops the spooky masks? Like a scarecrow mask, almost. Um, I think it's like a full costume, but I can't remember for the life of me what it's called. It's... Might even be Spooky Mask. The name of it. Have a look. Uh, you've got the 
spooky armor that you can make from spooky wood, but I don't think that's what you're on about. Um, might be. I might have to look it up in the, uh, on the wiki. Mm. Toby, what are you doing? <laughs> He's just having a good old time. I really should have the Terraria wiki bookmarked by this point. But <laughs> I don't. Um, search. Spooky. Maybe it's spooky armor. That's it. That's it. Yeah, so you can you can just craft that from spooky wood. Eh, okay, cool. I'll do that. <laughs> That's probably one of the weirdest noises I've ever made. <laughs> eh. But apparently that's what I do when I'm excited about things. Oh no. I don't think that's... <laughs> at all, it's just bloody weird. <laughs> there it's, it is! Uh, it takes uh, 750 wood to make the full set. I didn't have enough to make my shoes. And also, it's just not very good armour. <laughs> It's <gasps> increases your max oh. number of minions by one and your summon damage by 11. That's useless to me, actually. Uh, so the full set will give you um, plus four, I think. Just keep that in the corner. And... Um, uh... It isn't much use to you. Um, because I know you don't do much summoning. Um, well, it's only this is I my... don't know. It could also be because you've never given me any summons except pets. Or have you, and I'm just... Um, I think there is summon equipment. Um... Well, I don't have any uh, summons that attack anything. I've just got... My creeper, my little pumpkin boy, and... No, wait. Yeah, my creeper is my my light uh, guy. Well, pumpkin boy is the other one. Yeah, like um, Abigail's flower is a, a summon. Yeah. It's um. um e Those are both sentry staffs there. Um. Check. I might have. Uh, hey, Tobes. Yeah. Is the armor I'm wearing at the moment? If I take the costume off, that can. can that big see guy. The arm. Uh, that is an extra summon. Nice. Um, he's basically a sentry. Um. So if there are uh, enemies about, he will go off and attack them as long as I'm close enough to him. Cool. Um, and that's something you get for Ghost Moon Lord, basically. Because you need to have the um, Luminite bars or Luminite or, or dropped from Moon Lord mm. um, to be able to uh, uh, craft it. Um, This phone block is literally just fire as a wall. That's, that's, that's real silly. Uh, it's it's cosmetic, but it has um, an interesting effect to it, basically. Yeah. Uh, hey, to Toby, you're so cute. If you'll still stay still long enough, I'm gonna take a picture. Why are you sure you need some? Hurry up, my dumbass phone. Oh my god. 
thing. I just wanted a little lump. I'm gonna put this picture in Discord real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I've just dropped a uh, pygmy staff on the floor below you. Ah. Um, which you can use to summon pygmies for you. Oh. Fight for you. Cool. I keep forgetting summons aren't actually an equipable. You just have them in your inventory, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I tend to have them on my hotbar. Um, hot just so I can... Yeah, it, it depends on what else you've got in your hotbar. So, because I hmm. tend to have a lot of summon stuff. Um, a lot of my hotbar relates to that. Um, I've only got uh, three. I'm only showing two at the moment. Why is he so cute? He's my little lump who isn't that little anymore. But yeah, that's the picture in Discord for anybody who wants to see the little lump. Yes. Um, right, I gotta like reorder my inventory a little bit because most of it's like based on exploring, which I do still do from time to time, but like not super often. Mm -hmm. I keep forgetting that this stupid chest of drawers is not a storage container mm -hmm. for clothes. <laughs> need an actual chest to put my stuff in, which I will put down here. Does look adorable there in his cat tree. He does, doesn't he? I'll get those chests. There's also like a king's bed in here. I think I'll take that. I think what I don't need. I'm pretty sure I still take fall damage, although I could be wrong. So I don't really want to uh, get rid of my umbrella. Yeah, as long as you have wings equipped, um, you can just use those to hover and okay. float down. Don't need my so you don't anymore. need your umbrella with the wings. Um, Okay. Well, that makes it a bit easier. So nothing happened tonight. Oh, doesn't look like it. Um, but that's okay. Do you want me to um, summon a solo eclipse? Ah, uh, sure. The next morning. Okay, so the that of Halloween is we're now over at 4.30, so this should work. Look, it says the spirit of Halloween rests when day turns around after a night of literally nothing Halloween y. <laughs> yeah. A solo eclipse it's... is happening. Yeah. It's weird because it tends to be for side the season because you can summon um, 
pumpkin moon at any point as long as you have the item. Um, oh, this is the movie monsters one. The movie monsters one, yeah. Um, and what would tend to happen if we were outside the Halloween season um, is that uh, you would get. Um, you might get pumpkins growing. Um, health items that drop would be uh, uh, the candy apples. Um, things like that. Well, this is the um, this is your uh, the Halloween sword, isn't it? Yes. She's very nice. But I do like my bird. It only does 39 range damage to my bird, but I think it's because it fires six shots at once. Mm. It's fairly good. A huge range to it. what boneless apple cider tastes like. It just tastes like apple juice. Does it just taste like al apple juice? If I wanted apple juice, I would have just bought apple juice. <laughs> well, at least now I know. Having some trouble with the door. Might do. You're going to give him a hand there, or not? Uh, I was going to, but then Mosuda attacked me. Did you let him in? Demolitionist died. Oh well, plenty more where they came from. Yeah, they'll be back soon enough. Under a or different the name. replacement will. Mm. Interchangeable. Whenever anyone says that, my mind automatically uh, fills in after the word interchangeable with Emma's. Um, again, referring to the Discworld and um, oh. Vimes's uh, Jean for calling all of his wife's maids Emma. Oh. How many Terry Pratchett books did you say you've read? Uh, I read all of oh, the Tiffany Aching ones, uh, which were, uh, what to say, you're looking at, um, including some of the short stories as well, probably 
the top of my head, probably not far off 30. I've definitely not read that. Although I forgot. I've uh, forgotten the uh, children's ones as well. <laughs> or young people's ones. Use the Johnny and the Dead series. Oh, the Johnny series and the uh, Romeo the Ad trilogy, which were the gnomes. I'm trying to remember which ones I've had. I know they're not particularly numerous. But I read. There was like a phase where I read like a whole bunch. I think I must have been about mm. 14 at the time. I think the first one I ever read was The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents. That's a good one. Uh, first one I read was the last one that was published at the time, which was Soul Music. Hmm. Uh, which was the, um, the birth of music with rocks in, in um, <laughs> the disc world. Amazing. And was also quite amusing because it was um, the um, the mist is uh, Discworld's um, answer to a Welshman, which I thought was quite amusing at the time. the TV movie that got me into Terry Pratchett, so... Mm. Oh, um, I don't know if you've seen Candle's message. Apropos oh. of nothing, I came, I watched the movie Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Nice! Uh, I actually did what? try watching that, and then I remembered I don't like the story of Pinocchio. Mm. But it was good from what I saw of it. And the thing about Guillermo del Toro is, is that... The thing is, he is good. But I also think he's a little bit overrated. Like, most of his films yeah. aren't that good. Pinocchio is a good one. Pan's Labyrinth is unanimously his best. Of course, he did Mimic as well, the original Mimic. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I did not know that, but I did not know that. <laughs> trying to think what else he's done. I mean, he did Pacific Rim, which I thought was... It was fun the first time, and then every subsequent viewing I just was bored. So, did not hold up. What is actually attacking me right now? It's really hard to tell. Sometimes I can't tell is what your is what what's your summons and what's actually like bad guys. Mm. Uh... We did the Hellboy movies, or two of them anyway. You, you did the first one. I think you did the second one. You did the second one. Yeah. Uh, Golden yeah. Army. Yeah. I really like Golden Army. I th the first one was another one that was just kind of just kind of bored me. But I, uh, the second one is definitely like one of my favorite films. Not a great movie, but definitely a movie I really like. Yeah, his design of death, man, that whole scene, I love that thing. It's great. I. I personally prefer Ron Perlman over David Harbour, but I don't think David Harbour did a bad job. No, I don't think the, he did. The uh, reboot. <sighs> the reboot. There's so uh, much wrong with that movie. But you know what? I, I kind of enjoy it. It helps that it used my favourite Black Rebel Motorcycle Club song. <laughs> <laughs> also, it had the guy who played General Draven in Rogue One in it. But then he was also in The Sign of Three in the Stephen Moffat BBC Sh Sherlock, so... <laughs> I sense a theme here. I guess I think I'm just <laughs> happy to see him, you know? <laughs> yeah. 
but also, what's that other guy? Um, Daniel Day Kim is in the David Harbour Hellboy, and I like Daniel Day Kim. I, I, I do. Um... Do enjoy watching him in things. He, he's in Spider-Man too. Or listening to him when, or listening to him when he's a VA as well. Oh he yeah, was, he has a good um, voice. In the Saints Row series, he was Johnny Gat. Really? Um, oh, all that's the great. way through. That's great. And I just find that hilarious because Gat is so over the top. He was one of the best characters in Lost. That's some of the best development. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed your, your message, Candle. Sorry, it's a bit consuming doing these fights sometimes. But I'm glad Water read it out. Thank you for that. 